Hello and welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. I'm Vic and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel. And it has now started to rain, which means that it is perfect sailing weather. Too bad for me I'm not sailing. I suppose it's pretty good motorboating weather too, right? Especially that kind of motorboating. Now this is off course, but I am curious about what's going on over here. It appears to be a fallen ruin. There's probably a chest in there, but also I would have to get out of my boat to check it out, so not doing that. There's a definite, yeah, there's a, there's a for real current. How convenient that that current just goes straight from wherever these are coming from to me on the shore. Which is a silly thing to say, because if such a current like this would exist, it would do... it would naturally wind up somewhere. So, the fact that I found it in the middle of nowhere... somewhat less impressive than I initially phrased it as. Just how far do I have to go to find this guy, though? Maybe I'll short-circuit the current a little bit. Since it does seem... well, naturally, I'm going against it. Haha. -ha. We should be getting close, I think. Yeah, look at that. A couple of Lysels. Naturally, they're going to be in my way. Get them. Haha. -ha. I don't care about your horns anymore either, jerks. Go ahead and be lame. Oh, this is where everybody's been finding that boat hull to play with. Neat. I mean, I don't think I really care. I think the boat hull that I've got, such as it is works just fine, but it is nice to know, actually. All right, I'm not going to hit you with that, but I am going to hit you, so. And I'm going to take your horn even though I don't want it, just because I can. Now, can I get on with what I was doing, please? Thank you. I only wanted the gold one, but whatever. That's not what I would call a big rock. I suppose it's big enough. But, I mean, really. Nice, that was a good find. And is there? There is a shrine nearby. Right. Thank you, Mineru. All done. You are rescued. Who are you? You know what? I don't care. If you're in here, then I'm saved. Ugh, I've been stuck in here for ages. Did you find my message in a bottle and come to rescue me? Oh. It really worked. I knew it was a long shot, but it was worth it. After one went down in Luralin Village, I couldn't exactly refresh my stock of fish, so I went out to try to catch my own. That's when a storm kicked up. I tried to shelter in the cave, but got shut in. Oh. Yeah, things were pretty bad for a while, but look at me now. That bottle really turned things around. If this lucky streak keeps up, it's got to bode well for business. Oh. Here, this is for you. I picked it up off the ground here in the cave. That sounded better in my head. It's a nice reward, honest. I was planning to take it home with me once I got out. Yeah, sure. Ah. I really owe you. A little reward's the least I can do. Mm. Alright, I'm out of here. 
If our paths ever do cross again, you should buy some fish off me. <laughs> oh, this isn't the time to play the peddler, huh? Anyway, thanks again and so long. I didn't even get a chance to tell him that I saved his village. Mineru. Mineru. Fine. I'll break my silly deity sword. Or not. Wow, lame. Alright, I thought I detected a shrine. Why am I not detecting a shrine anymore? must be not very close. Oh, look at that. He took his boat hull with him. Do you suppose it'll turn up in, L in L L Lurelin now? And back we go the way we came. Now we're going to go to Eventide. For no better reason than because it's there. <clears throat> I was really hoping that the trail of debris was just going to take me out there serendipitously, but no. Why would it be that easy? Haha. -ha. Um, do I want your stuff? I'm here, so I might as well. Uh, what I really want is the balloons. I suppose I could move the fan further down or add some more if I wanted to get there faster. Is there a chasm out there? That would make sense, wouldn't it? There's probably a whole bit of Underdark down there, too. I suppose we'll check that out since we're going out there. I don't have a whole lot of Underdark left to explore, either. On the other hand, I only have, what is that, like around 30 hearts? So that means I've got, like, 30-ish more shrines to do? That's crazy. Am I going to do like I did last time and go nuts and do all the shrines off-camera before I go and fight Ganon? I don't think so. Oop. I didn't even see you until the last second. <clears throat> I mean, I've already got a buttload of hearts and I have some really good armor. And because I'm taking advantage of the duping glitch, I've got a bunch of really great weapons, too. So I probably don't really need to go all out. I am not planning on getting the secret ending. Not on camera, any dang way. In part because I know there's DLC coming. And, uh... What is that? Just some fallen ruins? Yes. What was I saying? Oh yeah, if I'm gonna do more Tears of the Kingdom when the DLC comes out, I'm certainly not going to... Um... Put in a whole bunch of effort to do everything there is to do right now because there's going to be more to do later. But I might do it at some point between now and then, off camera. Oh. Who the Mister? You must have a death wish to make your way to this island. You've heard the rumors, right? They say this is where the pirates that attacked Lorellin Village came from. I hide out. I mean, I sure don't want to be here. But I'm on a mission to locate the pirate's hideout for the monster control crew. From what I've seen, this island has three monster strongholds. Hmm. I do think the pirate's hideout is somewhere on this island. But I can't do a thorough search with these strongholds in my way. Ah. <sighs> 
I want to finish my scouting and go home already if only those monster strongholds weren't there. Man, what a tragedy. This tower reminds me of the tower um, near Death Mountain that I climbed to get to the Sheikah Tower there in Breath of the Wild. Doesn't it? I don't think I've seen a tower like this anywhere else. You guys aren't even trying. Like, not even a little bit. It's kind of embarrassing. That was definitely a headshot. Why did that not count? So, do I get... Um... Just one Monster force, Forces bar for the entire island? Or do I get one for each... Quote-unquote stronghold? Because... It kind of looks like it might be one for the whole island. Was that there before? Or is that new? Bye-bye. <laughs> that was a pretty good way to break a weapon. And just send that asshole right over the edge. Now, what have you got for me? Times ten. That's a lot of bomb flowers. What do you mean he didn't die? Is he gonna come back? Does he miss me? Does he even care? Uh huh. Well, at least he cares. Ice Breath Lysel Reaper. No. Not good enough. Now, there was a Korok here. Now there's just a Boko Horn. But it's my Boko Horn. I earned it. So I'm going to carry it around until the end of time. Because it's not good for anything else. Moo indeed. Now, I wonder, I think there's probably not a Hinox over here. Oh, is he not here because that piece of ruins landed on him? Could be. Got a couple of springy dings. I guess I could use those for a novel approach to the fort over there. And here we go. And here we go. And here we go. Why? Why? What's over there? Why do you keep turning that way? Thank you. You didn't see that. Nobody saw that. Everything's fine. Link doesn't have a severe concussion. I don't have a severe concussion. That's what I was looking for. And now... Some freebies. Well, since there's one here, why would I not take advantage? What should I attach to him? I don't really want a cannon, and I don't really want, yeah, I guess it's shock emitter.
Off you go. Haha. <laughs> You know, you're you're being really crazy with those rocks. <laughs> wow, that guy keeps falling down when I do that. What's up with that? Oh, maybe it's Tulin. Come on, off you go. Now, stay standing up. Thank you. Okay, Tulin. Good job. Go get him. There you go. <laughs> Love it. I guess the shock one does have its own problems too, but even so, it is the least destructive of the three. Alright, good work, friend. You can be cool now. So that's two of these down. I like the way the guts keep wiggling. I hadn't noticed that before just now. What is this? Just an arrow. And on to the third base. I mean, I could probably, like, bust up all those boxes and recoup some arrows, but frankly, I'm pretty stacked for arrows, and so I don't really need to do any recouping. Come on, bow, please. Thank you for taking your time. There we go. Now that we've taken out the sentry, everyone else will be nice and alert for me. You know what? I want another shocky friend. Yeah. Why not have two? <laughs> I love it. Have fun, jerks. Now you're sounding the alarm. It's a little late for that. It's kind of messed up using a weapon made from your own family's horns, don't you think? Not that you shooting at my friends was doing you any good, but I didn't appreciate it. Oh. I love it. Alright, we're all good. Man, look at all the Zonai goodies they've got hoarded up here. Might be able to build something halfway useful with that. Now where is that shrine? Nearby, down below, huh? 
All right, well, let's start by going back and having a chat with our unfortunate scouty friend. Uh, forgot to turn off my toys. Well, well, that's fine. There's a rocket embedded in the sand over there. Gimme. Thank you. Hey, buddy. Your name is Sesame? Really? The island seems so much more tranquil. Could it be? You cleared out the monster strongholds, all three of them? Oh. You're amazing. Oh, you don't even know how big a help that is. Perfect timing, too, since I just saw a pirate ship coming in. Hmm. But it's strange, as soon as it went around the rear side of the island, the ship disappeared. <clears throat> so where did it go? Maybe the pirates really do have a hideout on this island, and that's where the ship disappeared to. But that would mean make it the monster control dues duty to the monster control crew's duty to find and eradicate them, not just scout things out. Ah. I can handle one or two enemies, but that sounds like more. I'm so nervous, I'm frozen to the spot. Do I retreat? Do I locate the hideout and try to fight the pirates myself? Oh, what should I do? Well, what you should do is go and get reinforcements and then launch a coordinated attack on the pirate fortress. Or you could just stand there and cringe and uh, I'll take care of it. I think this tide pool must have been gouged out by these ruins coming down. That's pretty impressive. Do you suppose anybody's ever going to explain when all of that stuff got yoinked up into the sky? Did they do it after Rauru died as a precaution? As part of their preparations for Linky time? And for that matter, when were the shrines created? It would appear that Rauru had a hand in it, so it had to have happened before he died. But that doesn't really square with the idea that Zelda went around after he died and organized the next step. Probably won't ever get an explanation. There's a balloon over here. And I think that is the direction that I'm going. And what I'm not going to do is spend a bunch of time screwing around with inferior rafts when I have a... So dumb. That's so dumb! Why don't the Yiga make cooler schematics? I mean, on the one hand, yes, they're hilariously incompetent, but on the other hand, why is my Ultra Hand full of lame schematics that the Yiga made up? It's just... It's so weird. But for a second I thought the rain was falling up. And there it is. Big old pirate boat packed into a tiny little cave. Bring it on, Bocos. You are outmatched. Oh, what's going on back here? Somewhere in here is going to be a bubble frog, I'm sure of it. Oh, there's a lot of cave, huh? Interesting. There's all my friends. Why aren't you idiots coming to play with me, huh? You seem to have been alerted to my presence. 
Is this going to let me do whatever I please? This is probably where the bubble frog is, right? Yeah, there you are. You know, if you think about it, it's pretty crazy that uh, Bokos are brave enough to be seafarers, considering that they just drown as soon as they touch water. There's no, I can't swim. None of them can swim. Alrighty, let's see if we can't do something about all of these fellers. I guess I'll just wrap around this way, yeah. I am not going to worry too much about grabbing all their goodies. I'll take care of that off camera. But I do want to myrtleize as many of them as possible before we run out of episode. Alright, and uh, yeah, time for one of my favorite tactics. Any time now. There it is. Get him. Oh, there's something going on up there. Have you seen the videos about the 21 bomb uh, fusion and how it can just annihilate everything in one shot? Yeah, I don't think you guys should be looking at me right now. That guy really does keep his head moving, huh? What are you doing? And where are you doing it from? Hmm? Did, did Tulin already get him? Yeah, Tulin already got him. Are you actually providing cover up here, Mineru? I think you might be. And now for you. Oh, look at that. Another one all the way up there. I will get to you in a minute, small fry. Your minute is up. That was some good smack talk. Well-timed is the important thing, and adequately backed up. All right. There's the shrine. Ah, uh, and I know where that goes to. So, shrine time. All right. Oh, nice. Yeah, well done. Thanks, Tulin. Good timing. Glad you're here. This cave is really strangely shaped, now that I think about it. Like, ordinarily I would just climb up here, and then sail over. But guess what? Yeah. 
All right. Well, we're all out of time, so come back and see me again tomorrow, and I will have wrapped up the shrine. And then it will be time to figure out what to do next. Talk to you soon.